Hello friends, good evening. Welcome back to my channel Infinite Trade. My name is Robin and let's begin our Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis for tomorrow. I'm extremely sorry that I was not able to post a video for uh, you know for today, especially you know we already had a holiday yesterday but still I was unable to do the recording because I was caught up with my office work and the two days I just experienced hell. So please uh, forgive me for that so so if you remember i think uh, this particular day uh, so this was something i told you like even if the market so we saw that fis had a very strong bullish position and i said that you know in case if we break this line uh, we are still supposed to go for uh, a long and even if we gap down, we are supposed to go long. And that's what happened on that day. Uh, because market moved with uh, no sense. That means it was totally nonsense when it moved higher. But that was totally possible only because FS had, uh, you know, purely a long uh, kind of positions. So let's see uh, what happened today and what can we do for tomorrow. So looking at this, uh, this is quite clear that today's session has formed an inside candle on the daily chart. So whenever an inside candle is there, so a breakout of these levels actually gives some kind of a momentum. Okay, so usually if this range breaks, this becomes your target. Or uh, if the lower range breaks, this becomes your target. And once the mother candles high or low is broken is when you see a sharp up move or down move okay so this is just basic technical analysis so now let's uh, jump into the data and quickly check uh, what happened so the data i just uh, came like about 10 minutes ago so these days even you know uh, the nsc people are not giving the data on time even the cash market data has just uh, came about 5 10 minutes ago so today, uh, FIs have sold for 4,300 crores in the cash market. Okay. So they keep on selling every day, whether the market is on the lower side or on the higher side, they use the opportunity and this just, they are just selling relentlessly. So now let's see, uh, what is their derivative positions as of now? So the data looks surprising. Okay. So they have closed long. So yesterday also like day before yesterday uh, that day also they had closed the long positions so again closing of long position and this is creating a panic kind of situation this is 34000 you know future shots so right now the uh, long to short ratio so for the past 3 days it was neutral okay and Today, with this data, it has become extremely bearish. Okay. So, keep this in mind. Uh, so, extremely bearish uh, in the case of, uh, you know, it, it is just about, I think, two days for this particular expiry or for the March uh, month. And with this two days, the data is extremely bearish. Okay. And apart from that, we have call sell from them. And put buy from them okay so completely bearish position and at the same time even if you look at pros they are also future short call is heavily shorted it's almost about two lakh call shots and they have slightly some put sell 27,200 so this really doesn't matter uh, this is these quantities are what is more important so the data suggests extremely bearish but if you remember in the last 15-20 uh, minutes, the market almost recovered to the highest point okay, from where it opened actually. So that was a surprising move. So, okay. So the data is something which we checked. Uh, both of them are completely bearish. So now let's just see how we can trade based on this data. Okay. Uh, before going to that, let me just check the option chain. So I'm doing the live analysis. Okay. So I... I just checked participant wise OI, but other than that, everything is going to be live. 
uh, one more thing I wanted to mention, which is very important. So we have seen FIs uh, having short positions in futures, and these short positions are maximum in Nifty. So Nifty definitely looks dangerous. Okay, because if sixteen four hundred uh, four fifty level is broken, last time we made a low around sixteen two hundred. This time I think probably we'll land up at sixteen thousand or maybe even fifteen nine hundred for that matter. Okay, so keep this in mind. If you look at the option chain, this is the current week option chain. Tomorrow is the expiry. See, there is no open interest at, on the put side. You know, this is very bad. So since we do not have support in the market, but yet market opens gap up, it sustains at time. So what happens is put writers come during the intraday, but they, you know, they don't carry their positions overnight. So this is the problem at the moment. And that's the only reason why market is so volatile and confusing at times. And if you look at uh, the monthly option chain, that looks even more dangerous. Let me just show you. So look at this, the kind of quantity at 16,500, 16,000, 15,500. Now even people are emerging at 15,000 put also. So these are definitely, I've told you that these are put buying and not put selling. So the March month entirely looks uh, pretty much bearish. Let's check out Bank Nifty as well. Uh, yeah, this is Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty looks pretty decent. You know. Like we can see some support, but uh, to be very frank, Bank Nifty falls too much comparatively. You know, if we check with Nifty, like in the morning, Bank Nifty was almost about twelve hundred points down. So I did not expect that much of fall, but that was uh, one of the reason was you know the rising crude oil prices and the rising dollar. Uh, so that was one of the issue. But anyways, Bank Nifty's uh, OI looks better than nifty at least for the current week let's check the monthly okay mm. monthly looks a little dangerous even bank nifty that is surprising so you look at this even at 31 32 000, uh, we have good open interest or good volume a good buying of put options in bank nifty so this is something which we'll have to keep in mind that you know till the time this data doesn't change uh, we'll have to purely you know kind of do sell on rise kind of a price action that we'll have to follow okay the pcr values are really very dangerous it's around 0 0.57 for bank nifty and for nifty let's see what it is oh surprising nifty is also 0 0.57 okay so what are the things that we need to keep in mind uh i'm just writing it down fii's and pros are completely bearish PCR values are at 0 0.57, so close to reversal. So you can say reversal either or just a pullback or something like that. So it usually happens between 0 0.45 and 0 0.5. So keep on checking that as well because, you know, once the market goes down with a flow, you know, we tend to forget uh, what's happening in the background and we just tend to add our put uh, buys or call shots and then suddenly you may find a reversal like that happened today okay so in the last 15 20 minutes that was surprising i was like you know i already closed my terminal and i was just checking and it was like bank nifty at 35 500 so i thought my phone had an issue with the internet and then the price was stuck but when i opened the chart that was purely a surprise so that was a very good recovery at the end. Uh, cool. So let's look at the chart and quickly discuss. So this is Nifty. So Nifty, uh, what I'm going to plan is, see, looking at the data, definitely we'll have to 
take bearish trades only so there is no other way to it so we'll only talk about put buying or call selling okay so right now we are at this area uh, so this particular area is going to be a no trade zone okay in case if we get a gap up somewhere here and if we see a reversal candle here this is going to be a best place to buy a put option uh, keep in mind that tomorrow it's expiry day and the premiums in bank nifty at the money is trading at 700 rupees uh, again which is a surprising price because of the increased uh, VIX. okay so here we can buy a put the best thing would be you know market has to open flat or slightly gap down and trade within this range okay so within this range and if in case in the second half if it breaks this we'll definitely go into buy a put here expecting a very big fall because if we break this level 480 then the market is definitely going to halt at 16200 and directly to 16000 so we may see a small swing kind of a thing at 16200 and then we may fall to 16000 but the only thing is tomorrow since it is an expiry day uh, whether market will make such a big momentum or not is a million dollar question so we should be trading accordingly so in case if 16480 breaks uh, we'll keep it simple as of now if this level breaks our target will be 16200 okay so we'll exit our position so people who are holding uh, more than one lot can maybe trail their SL and hold it in case if we get a dip until 16,000 or something like that. So this is my view on Nifty. So at 16,740, uh, we are going to buy a put looking at a reversal candle. And at 16,480, once we break this in the afternoon in the second half, we are definitely going to go for a put option. Within this range and within this range, we will only see you know premium dk so do not get into this zone so in case if we open flat and we start moving up do not go for a call by here expecting it to move until this place that will definitely move but you know it is going to be a pain so not uh, willing to take call option at least so now let's look at bank nifty quickly so bank nifty made a very strong recovery so what we'll do in bank nifty is see the best place to buy a put option in case if we get on a higher side is going to be around this place okay around 36 uh, 300 or 36 200 but the only problem is but this should be if we gap up okay but if we gap up at this place the only problem is it is going to be a pain because the people will start writing 36,000 put options and the market will just try and sustain here. So the best thing that we are going to do is we are not going to enter looking at a reversal candle. So I'm not saying that we can get the market here. That looks quite difficult. But in case by any chance or by any luck, if we get the market here, we'll wait for it to make a range. And whenever the range breaks, we'll go for a put trade here. And the first target will be around this place, around 35,500. Okay. So this is one of the place where we'll buy put. In case if we open flat and we spend time here and if we break this level, there is a possibility Bank Nifty may move higher. But again, looking at the kind of positions, I'm not really interested in buying a call option. Uh, you can definitely buy a call option Bank Nifty, but not in Nifty uh, because I told you that uh, aggressive positions are in Nifty. But the only thing is if bank nifty starts moving then it will unnecessarily drag nifty at least making it sideways and you know eating up the premiums but you can give it a try in bank nifty to buy a call here uh, with a very small sl then you can expect a target of around at least you can expect thirty-six thousand, which is still about i think uh, 400 points 350 points so that is also not bad but the best trade would be you know i want bank nifty to open maybe flat and come inside or maybe open gap down and spend time here this looks a very good range because this is just about a 300 points range and in the second half if it breaks this range definitely we'll have to jump into puts we may see a further fall uh, from 34 900 we may go up to you know in fact uh, even we may test like 34 200 something like that 
so keep that in mind okay but since it's an expiry do not go for a trade which is more than 1 is to 3 or 1 is to 4 now that may put you in trouble especially for people who trade with one lots so this is my view on nifty and bank nifty for tomorrow uh, not definitely expecting sideways looking at the kind of position that's been created but since it's an expiry, people may, you know, especially FIs and pros, they may jump in and uh, create some volatility moves and keep the market sideways, at least for the first half to eat up the premiums and then, you know, uh, take the market maybe tomorrow in the second half or maybe on Friday, uh, the way they, that they want or the position that they have created and make money. So this is possible. So just keep in mind. Uh, thank you for watching. Let's meet in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.